Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me on today. And I'm so glad that it is Freestyle Friday. <sighs> just a few days to just relax and unwind. Well, listen, chosen ones, I wanted to reach out today to chit chat with y'all about something um, that was on my mind and it is a freestyle. So I'm just going to talk about it. And that is chosen ones in relationships. Us as chosen ones in relationships with a significant other. I just want you to know that for cho for chosen ones that are single, a lot of us are single because we cannot just link up with anybody. We can't just have random hookups. We can't just do things that, you know, the mass majority of people do. I, 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 you know, we can't. You know, sometimes I wish that I could, but real chosen ones, we know that we can't. And And the interesting thing is we just have to be very careful of who we allow in our space to have any form of communication with us and any type of energetic exchange, especially on an intimate level. As chosen ones in the calling that we have on our lives, you know, sometimes it's a high vibrational thing and a lot of people come at us. And because we love people, sometimes we we let folks into our experience, even as a friend uh, that shouldn't be in it because we care so much for people that sometimes we compromise what we're really supposed to be doing because we just want to heal everybody. We want to be, you know, loving towards everybody. We want to help everybody and we let people in. And sometimes if they get too close, it, it, it's not good for us and, and it's not good for, for them sometimes. So as a chosen one, we have to be very careful about who we connect with, who we're in a relationship with. And as a chosen one, it's just very important that you really understand the power that you possess is far different from anyone else. That's why a lot of times when you're around people, they act weird, they kind of shun away from you. Uh, you walk into a room, sometimes all eyes are on you, even though you want to just crawl up under a, a, a table and not be seen, but because of the energy that you have, it's like a it's powerful um, that you have. They see you anyway, and then they resent you and like you at the same time. As a chosen one, you just stir up things in people, and you don't even mean to. But it's just because of the calling that is on you and what you're put here on this earth to do. And when you're here to impact a whole lot of people like that you're just sought after. People want to be in your presence. They want to get around you. They want to know secrets about you too. They want to know things that they could possibly know about you so they can turn around and use it against you and hurt you because the enemy has gotten a, a sneak peek at your future. I want you to know this, chosen ones, that the enemy has gotten a sneak peek of your future and the whole objective for your enemy is to come in the form of people to make sure that you never wake up to who you really are and to make sure that you never possess your future the enemy don't want you to ever grab a hold of your identity of God in the way that you're supposed to, of the power that you have yet to unleash in this environment. And he doesn't want you to ever manifest in your future. So what he does is he put people in our way sometimes to distract us from the future. He has gotten a glimpse of your future. And I just want you to know today, going forward, chosen ones, that you are highly favored in the heavens and that you're unlike any representation of a human being. Yes, everyone is loved and everyone is, is special to God, but as a chosen one, it's a little bit different with you. I want you to understand that you have a lot of responsibility in this environment. 
And because of that, you have to be wise on who you communicate with, who you allow in your personal space, who you link up with in relationships, because the enemy has gotten a peek at your future. Until the next video, guys. Mm -hmm. Peace, because I still believe in you. Bye now.